concert and more. CBS 47's Justin Sacher joins us live in the studio with the story. Justin. And Catherine, many things happening at once this Veterans Day in Clovis, all in an effort to honor our veterans. Those I talked to today say they enjoy seeing neighbors and old friends. I'm 75 years old, and uh, this is what we had when, when, when I was a young man, you know. I had a 58 Corvette in high school. Each Veterans Day, Veterans Parkway next to Veterans Memorial in Clovis fills with classic cars. All veteran show, and it makes it really interesting, and you meet a lot of neat people, you know, and a lot of people that haven't been recognized in years and years and years. You know, it wasn't popular to be a Vietnam vet, as most of us can pay, you know, can attest to. But now it's uh, it's fun to get out and, and do things like this. Lifelong friends who I never ever would have known had I not been in the service with them. <laughs> New friends too. Are you related? No, no, we're just good friends. Good friends? He's a car show person. <laughs> You're a car show person. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, he's, he's the one who, uh, he has seven more old cars. My dad was a Chevrolet Buick dealer back in the 20s. What years were you in Korea? I got in right on the end. I was in 54. We could pull up alongside any other ship and supply them power and water and whatever they need while we repaired it. Well, there. I was an avionics uh, aircraft mechanic. I graduated Clovis High in 67 and just had an auto shop all those years. You used to be uh, a car painter, and which one is yours? <laughs> oh, yeah. This rusty one. You get so much attention over a regular hot rod sometimes. It just, you can do whatever you want with it, you know? Yeah. Coming back and nobody caring about us. But hey, we're all friends and we still like it. And the, the memorial over here is just beautiful. Hey, what can I say except I'm so glad I made it back. And we're grateful to you. He's my buddy. He's going to be a car person. Uh, uh. <laughs> the Clovis Veterans Memorial District was founded 75 years ago. That's back in 1946 and holds programs honoring veterans year-round. Live in the studio, Justin Sacher, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Wonderful story, Justin. Meanwhile, President Biden spoke at the Arlington National Cemetery today following a